Let us now understand example 8.2. The odometer of car reads 2000 km at the start of the trip and 2400 km at the end of a trip. Now what is odometer here? Odometer is a machine which is fitted along with the car inside which shows us a trip reading or it tells us that how much distance has been covered by the car and it also tells us that how much distance has been covered in one particular trip. So it will tell us at the first 2000 because it has already covered 2000 earlier in previous journeys. Now when the trip has started it was showing 2000. Now after the trip ends it shows 2400 km at the end of the trip. If the trip took 8 hours, so this is a time, this is distance and this is time. Calculate the average speed of the car in kilometer per hour and in meter per second. So there are two different units, kilometer per hour and meter per second. You cannot club this unit like kilometer per second and meter per hour. This is the unit and that is how we have to find the answer. That kilometer always go along with hour and meter will always go along with the second. Now that we will see it later that what is the conversion factor of kilometer per hour. First let us find out the answer. So here it started from the 2000 kilometer. So when we are finding out the distance, so it was initially showed that it was 2000 and that it ends at 2400. So what is the actual distance covered is 2400 minus 2000. Because this much has been already covered in previous journeys. Now it has started at this point and end at this point. So this much distance has been covered through a car. So it is 400 km is the total distance for this particular trip. Now it has taken 8 hours. Now this 400 is already in the kilometer and this is in the hour. So we do not need to convert any of that. First let us find out the answer in kilometer per hour. So let us find out average speed. So here average speed equals to total distance divided by total time taken. So here we will get 400 divided by 8 and the answer will be 50. 8 fives are 40 and this 0 we are keeping it here. So it is 50. So it is 50. Now what will be the unit? This is kilometer and this is hour. So our unit will be kilometer per hour will be the unit for this average speed. We have to also find out this distance in meter per second. So let us now understand that how we can convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. This is our answer that 50 kilometer per hour that we have to convert it into meter per second. Now what is a conversion from kilometer to meter? Let us now recall that 1000 meter equals to 1 kilometer. So it also means that meter equals to 1 by 1000 kilometer. Right. Now let us see the conversion factor from hour to second. So here 60 second equals to 1 minute. Now 60 minute equals to 1 hour. So here 1 hour equals to 60 minute into 60. So this will be second. So in turn 3600 second in total. So 1 hour equal to 3600 seconds in total. So these are the conversion factor which we have to remember. Now 50 km per hour when we are converting it into a meter then we have to multiply 50 into kilometer to meter. What is the conversion factor? Kilometer to meter is we are multiplying with 1000. 
so here 1000 we are multiplying and then in division it is our so our to second is 3600 second so it is 3600 second in total now we have to solve this 50 into 1000 divided by 3600 second so our answer is 0, 0, 0, 0 will go here, here we will get 18, here we will get 5 and 50 into 5 divided by 18 will be there at 13.9. Now this is meter per second because as we have converted here into meter per second, this 13.9 is meter per second. So when from kilometer to hour, we are converting into meter per second. We have to multiply with this factor. That is 1000 divided by 3600. With this factor, we have to multiply the answer. Then we are converting it into meter per second. So hope this video has solved your doubt. In coming videos, we are going to learn many more important concepts. So don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.